Did you know that microbial communities are everywhere and drive basic processes in our everyday life? From the air that we breathe to the food that we eat. For example, communities of microbes, yes, microbes live in communities, decompose plants and our bodies when we die into carbon dioxide and transform it back into the very basic building blocks of life, enabling the renewal of our next generation. For me, microbes represent the true cycle of life. I study what makes microbes live and function together in communities and ways to reshape and engineer such communities towards desired functions. I'm specifically interested in microbial communities, also termed microbiomes, that live in gut environments of animals. Why do I do that? Because they affect their hosts and are part of many of the processes that contribute to its well-being. One of my favorite research models is ruminants, like cows and sheep as they represent the hallmark of host microbiome symbiosis. Ruminants, unlike human beings or mice, cannot live without their microbes. They are totally dependent on their microbiome to digest the plant fiber that they eat, and therefore are the perfect model to study host microbiome symbiosis. Moreover, with the growing world population, ruminants' microbiomes are extremely important to humanity's food security as they are responsible for producing edible products from indigestible plant material. However, the rumen microbiome is also responsible for the production of large amounts of one of the most potent greenhouse gases, methane, which we all know contributes to global warming. In our studies conducted throughout the planet on thousands of cows, we have discovered that there are natural microbial communities that are responsible for producing less methane and more milk. We are now devising ways to synthetically engineer such communities and to modulate rumen microbiomes across the globe to be more environmentally friendly, but still maintain food security for the growing world population. These endeavors will have an immense environmental and agricultural impact. After moving here from the center with my research group and family, we found a very nurturing home here in Bidou, both scientifically and socially. 